on guys, Jesse here. So today we've got another keyboard here from our friends at Melgeek and I for one am always really excited when they send me a package because they've made some of my favorite keyboards that I've ever used. Just cause every time they make something, it, they just do it in such a creative and fun way that I'm such a big fan of and part of the reason that all of us get into custom keyboards in the first place. So what we've got today is the Modern 97 in the Ocean colorway. And the thing right off the bat that really impressed me about this board was the design. So we've got a 90% layout here, which is similar to a full size in the sense that you get a numpad, but it's a little bit more compact, so it doesn't take up as much space, but also different from what they call an 1800 layout or a 96% because we still have the gap between the F row and the rest of the keyboard. I personally really like how you still get the functionality of the numpad without having the huge size of a full size keyboard. And I know everybody who works with spreadsheets a lot or has to type in numbers a lot will really appreciate it too. But apart from the functionality, I also really just appreciated how aesthetically pleasing this board was. On the top, we've got white plastic with black paint speckles that really remind me of old Jordan sneakers and I think is a really cool touch. And on the back, we mainly have this navy blue covered by clear plastic and this gold accent piece that also has that black paint speckling that I'm a pretty big fan of. And lastly, to top it off, we've got these three symbols on the back that are pretty gamery looking because in some ways they are targeting this board at gamers. And I'll talk a little bit more about the features in a second. But overall, I gotta say that I'm just a really big fan of this whole white, gold, and blue color scheme. And I don't have a ton to say about it except that I think it was very tastefully done. Like I've had a lot of friends come over that aren't really into keyboards that usually wouldn't notice what's on my desk, point this out and say, that's a really cool board. Now in terms of build quality, we've got an all plastic build here, which I think for the price point is perfectly fine. And we've got a high quality ABS plastic, including the keycaps, which are double shot. Um, I do prefer PBT because over time they tend to wear a little bit better and don't get shiny quite as fast, but the seem to be pretty high quality. They're using what they're calling an MCR profile for the keycaps, which is basically the same as Cherry, so most people should feel right at home. You also cannot change the angle of type on this keyboard, but it does have a built-in 7.5 degree incline, which I found to be very comfortable. Now under the hood, we've got a new upgraded gasket mount design, along with a slotted PCB to add even more flex. And pressing down on the board, you definitely can feel that gasket mount in action, but I will say as far as gasket mounts go, this is a little bit on the stiffer side, which I am actually perfectly fine with because I honestly never got why gasket mount was such a big deal because you can only really feel it if you bottom out super hard, but it's there. And as far as these switches go, you've got three options, but the one I've gotten here are their new custom Kale Sonic 53 gaming switches. Like I said earlier, they're kind of trying to gear this towards gamers in some ways, but personally looking at this board, the only part of it that really tells me like gamer is the switches. But what really makes them gamer switches? Well, for one, they've got a very light actuation force of 45 grams, which is a lot lighter than I would usually like, but I have found that it kind of makes makes rapid pressing of the keys a lot easier than if the actuation force was a little bit higher. Unfortunately, I'm not really a huge gamer, so I'm not going to be able to test whether or not the response time really makes a difference in how good of a gamer you are, but in terms of smoothness and typing experience, I will say that they are exceptionally smooth. Again, they are a little bit light for my preference, and they do have a little bit wobble than I think would be ideal, but overall for a fact stock switch, these are really nice. But of course, the PCB is also hot swap, so if you don't like them, you can just switch them out for a switch you like more. It also, of course, has RGB as well, which I usually keep off because I think it looks so clean without it, but it's there if you want it. We've also got tri-mode connection, meaning wired, wireless via Bluetooth, or wireless via 2.4 gigahertz. I mainly use it in Bluetooth mode, and it's worked really well for me so far, and it has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in here, which seems to be really good as well. I haven't had to charge it in the past couple of weeks that I've been using it. But yeah, that's more or less what's going on with this keyboard. Let's round this out with a quick sound test.
Okay, so that was a sound test, and overall, I really like the way that this board sounds. It's definitely a higher pitch sound for a keyboard, but I think in a very pleasant way, and if I had to use a word to describe it, it would be poppy, which I am a big fan of. And in terms of like echo and unwanted reverb, I think all of that was really well controlled with all of the internal foam that was in there. So yeah, overall really good sound. But I think one of the best things about this board is gonna be the price. So it's gonna retail for $139, which I know a lot of you guys might hear and say, you know, how is that a good price for a keyboard? But trust me, like in the world of custom enthusiast grade keyboards, this is budget. And if you're comparing this board to another board from a major manufacturer like Razer or Corsair or something like that, this just totally blows those out of the water in terms of typing experience. Like you may not get all of the features for gaming that you will get in those boards, but just in terms of like build quality, the sound, the feel, this is just gonna totally smoke those other boards. So yeah, if this seems like something you'd be interested in picking up, definitely check out that link in my description. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!